Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about the villain, the bad guy, the antagonist. Why, you ask? Well, I am writing the backstory of my villain, bad guy, antagonist, and so I thought I'd do a vlog about it. There are some villains that are just pure evil. They don't have a reason why they're evil, they're just evil. Pure evil. And they give us the creeps. And nightmares. <laughs> Then there are the villains that are human or human-like, like they have a backstory of why they became pure evil. In a way they're relatable, but they're definitely not, unless you're a villain. Huh? Huh? Now I personally like both. I like where it's just evil and the good must fight against it. I also like where the evil guy was once a good guy and something happened to make him the bad guy. And then good must fight against it. So I have started to write the backstory of my antagonist. So it's kind of, it's going to be a detailed one. But before that, I wrote the story of his parents. So it's helpful. I already knew what happened to his parents. And now it's his story. I'm trying to come up with that moment. Or maybe it's a series of moments that made him become evil. I think I have an idea of what triggered it, and I'm excited to see if it'll work, but I wanted to, it can't be just a little thing like, oh, one day he fell off a horse and hit his head on a stone and he sat up and was evil. No. It has to be like a legit thing. My previous novel, I wrote my antagonist to be triggered by... A feeling of justified revenge. He felt like he was actually doing good and it ultimately turned to evil. This one I don't think will happen like that. For our protagonist there comes an event or a series of events that will be the trigger that makes them the hero or the main character that we're all rooting for unless they're the villain. Ish kind of protagonist but if they're not same with the antagonist you have to i believe sp spend that same amount of attention and time to create them to be just as believable as the protagonist you want someone that will stick with you that you would want to defeat at the same time you'd be afraid of maybe you would love to hate as that cliche goes we all have events or moments in our life that changed us and made us who we are now and the same goes with our characters that's why i'm really enjoying writing these backstories you can see my video about backstories in the description i have read stories where or watched movies where you wonder why is he the bad guy like they just wake up one day and it's like you know what i'm gonna take over the world and dominate because i'm evil now or was he born that way i like to know that there was more to it because of that that's how i'm going to write it that's it for now so leave me a comment and tell me what you guys think what are your favorite kind of villains are they pure evil from the very beginning of their existence or do they become evil at some point do you like villains that stay evil till the end of the story or do you like evil villains that have a redemption or maybe they stay evil till the end but there's a feeling of redemption to them if you like this video give me a thumbs up please share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to get more videos about writing okay so i recorded the vlog you just watched a couple days ago and then i thought i'd do an update before i post this so i have gotten in my backstory of the antagonist to the part where i finally figured out what made him the bad guy of the story however what happens and always happens with me is i end up falling in love with my antagonist that I almost feel bad for turning him into a bad guy but I know that at the same time he would make a really good bad guy so it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling so I'm still writing the backstory and I hope to be done by I don't know a week's time or less than a week's time to be honest so that's where I am now and tell me guys has that ever happened to you have you ever fallen in love with your villain